Hello folks, I'm Dean with Dean's Woodworking. Y'all come on into the shop and make yourself comfortable. I'm getting ready to start a series of videos on just simple ornaments. Things people will buy in the craft show for cheap, impulse buys, and things you can give away to your friends and family. It's not a whole lot of time for you and they will love them. So y'all come on in, make yourself comfortable. Let's get started on some ornaments. By the way, the ornament today is going to be a bell. Got a couple hanging right here. Go ahead and give you guys a little closer view of that. Again, it's just a simple bell. It's not anything that takes a whole lot of time. It certainly uh, doesn't cost you a lot of money as far as materials or supplies. And people absolutely love these things. Let's get going. Now you'll notice what I've got chucked up in the lathe here is just a limb. Now it is a dry limb. It's been sitting around for a while. But this is not a uh, piece of exotic lumber that uh, was imported from somewhere. It is just a simple limb. When you're first starting to rough it out, bring the tailstock up. That'll give you a little more support. And I believe this particular piece is pear. Pear has a little bit of a reddish color to it and just, just makes for a beautiful turning. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a peeling cut. We're going to have us a little bell right there at the bottom. Then we're going to come in and we're just going to kind of round this over, kind of give it a bell shape on the bottom. We don't want this to be protruding out there very far, so we'll bring it back. We'll come in with a little uh, 3 8 spindle gouge, and we'll just round that corner over there. And we're going to say the top of our bell is going to be, oh, probably about right in there. Again, we're just giving it a little bit of that bell shape. And just depending on how much of that shape you want to give it, I want to come in a little bit more. We'll make us a cut up top and then we'll start working our way down to the top of that bell. And then as we work our way down, we'll just come in here and get this out of our way. Once we get it to that point, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some sandpaper real quick. 
We got some 150 here that just happened to be laying on the lathe. Let's see, with any luck at all, we'll come up with some 220, yes. Now one of the things that I like to do on the bells is come in, make a couple of marks down there, maybe even one up here. And then I will use a fairly small burning tool. I've got a video that you guys can see where I made this out of some guitar string. Burn some lines on there. I always want to come back with a little bit of sandpaper in this case, I'm going to hit it with a 220 again. And then we'll go straight into just a little bit of 320. Now folks, what I'll do is I'll slow the lathe way down. Get just a little bit of Minwax Antique Oil finish on a uh, paper towel. Go ahead and put that on there pretty liberally. Now what I'm going to do is let that set there just a couple of minutes. I want it to soak into the wood a little bit. Then I'm going to apply another coat. We're going to turn the lathe speed up. We're going to kind of friction polish that into the wood. Okay? Give me just a second, I'll be right back. By the way, while you folks are waiting for me to get back and put the final coat of finish on this, if you don't mind and you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna get notifications of future videos coming out so you don't miss anything, ring that notification bell, and I always appreciate the comments. Thank you so much for those folks who take the time to comment whether they say they like the videos or that there's something I could improve upon. I really appreciate the comments. Thank you so much. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, well let's go ahead and turn the lathe speed up and uh, polish this in, okay? Folks, you saw exactly how the finishing process works. And I'm going to go ahead and part this thing off. Be right back and show you exactly how I put the little hole in there to put the little eye hook in there to be able to hang it, okay? Now what we did is we're just coming in here with the skew. And bringing that down. I don't get in a real big hurry parting it off because when you do, that's when you start getting uh, fibers pulling out. That's when you start getting fibers pulling out right here, folks. And I'll leave just a little bit, just like I did right there. And it popped off on me a little bit quicker than I anticipated. No harm in that. Like I said, it was just a little bit quicker than I anticipated. What I'm going to do and same thing I always do, I take my power sander and I just hit the top of this. And when you get it that quick, that uh, small, it takes just a second. It was literally that quick to get that down to smooth. I'm going to take and dab just a little bit of oil right there and it is finished, but we still have to hang this thing, okay? What I do, I've got a little pin vise for really small drills. I will take the collet off of the opposite end of that, 
chuck it up into my drill. Now, let me tell you, if you're going to do this, you must be careful. Because if you move that drill much at all, you're going to break that drill bit. Okay, so here we go. I'll give you guys a little different view. Hopefully y'all can see exactly what I'm doing here. Again, I'm not putting a tremendous amount of pressure on it. I'm not running it extremely fast. As you folks could see, this one was a little difficult in drilling. Normally, they just drill right in and right out. But uh, this wood can get pretty hard. Some of you may have noticed a crack in this one. It'll probably be the first one to sell. Little imperfections like that with these, I pretty much ignore. Because honestly, a lot of people, they look at that and they buy it because it has a crack in it. Okay, that doesn't necessarily mean I don't try to get some that don't because I absolutely do. And I didn't realize this piece of wood had a crack until I was halfway through turning it. But I would not let that bother me because I can promise you it doesn't bother your customers. Now, what do I do from here? There are several things you can do. You can get screw eyes to go in these. A lot of people use those and they work just fine. What I do is I go down and you can get the little loops that they use to make jewelry out of. They have a pin on them about that long, which about about as long as the bell is. I will take and clip that off and then I'll take the, the wire cutters that I use to clip it and I will just kind of crimp it along the, the wire and I use CA glue on it and just drop it down there and let it sit. They hold just fine. I have never had anybody bring me one back and say, hey, the, the eye came out of it. Again, just a, a nice little ornament. Here's a couple more for you to see. You can put the lines on them if you like. You can do them without lines. But I can tell you, at the shows, Folks go crazy over these. Folks, I will be doing several of these in this series on the simple ornaments. We did the bells today. I'll be doing snowmen, Christmas trees, light bulbs. There's quite a few in this series that I'll be doing. So again, ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy turning.